Wedding cakes first originated in ancient times when grooms would break cakes of wheat or barley, essentially loaves of bread, over their bride's head. They then evolved until something known as the bride's pie became the norm. Essentially what it was, it was a pastry crust that they would fill up with various savory ingredients and mm -hmm. filled up with oysters. Delicious. Pine kernels. Wow. Lamb's testicles. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're heading into into YouTube territory actually with that. That's a ball, it's not a bad ball. That right there is a good testicle. It's so bally. <coughs> right. Yes. Okay, so this was, you telling me that this was a celebratory yes. pie yes. that the brides used to have yes. back in the day. But luckily we don't live in the 17th century, so we don't have to serve brides pie to our guests. Instead, we're curious to see what options exist for us in current times, so we'll be venturing around Cape Town today for three very different tastings. When you arrive at Wade's Cakes, you can immediately sense that you've entered a traditional wedding cake house. We met Wade and sat down for a quick consultation to discuss our wedding cake vision. We spoke about our venue, the food we'd be serving before dessert, and of course if we had any ideas or preferences for our cake. Then the tasting tray arrived and it was time to dig in. We sampled five of his most popular traditional flavors and one vegan option. It was nice to know that we could mix and match sponge flavors with various fillings in whatever combination we wanted, and was a pretty great way to spend the morning, I won't lie. I'm very excited to be stepping into the kitchen. I got a quick tour and found out that they bake an average of 60 wedding cakes a month, which is pretty impressive for their small team of three. Our next stop was Sweet Lionheart, but interaction with Nikki and her team started long before we met in person. Hey, how are you? <laughs> After drooling over their Instagram page, I reached out to inquire about a tasting and soon received their tasting form to complete, which actually helped the team prepare ahead of our visit to their studio. We sampled everything from delectable lemon meringue tarts. And, and their signature rocket pops to decadent dessert cups. I feel bad. I feel like I'm destroying it. They were a piece yeah, of art. Oh, sorry, guys. Donuts. How good is that? And molten brownies. Then after clearing the sugar rush with some tea, we sat down to chat about our wedding in detail. We shared some of our reference picks, and then it immediately turned into a brainstorm sketch session, discussing and envisioning our big day's wedding cake. It was super fun to be involved in the process, and to start to visualize what our sweet creation could actually look like. I'd definitely visit their studio for a tasting again, even if we weren't planning our wedding. Our last stop was the artesian ice cream spot Unframed, which we also found on Instagram. Since we were planning a summer beach wedding, we thought that maybe serving ice cream would be a cool option, so we visited to get a better understanding of the flavors available. We went in turns trying the various dairy and vegan ice cream options. and could definitely see having an ice cream truck or little Vespa with a fridge at the back parked outside our wedding venue. Just picked up the cake. It is going to be sitting on my lap for the entire drive up and they advise not to do it. They advise to put it on a flat surface, but we have none. No. The car is full and well, we can only hope for the best. We're making this work. Three hours to go. Let's hope it makes it in one piece. I'm feeling good. It's hard to Our wedding party was the most fun. And all the guests seemed really happy with our food choices. We ended up going with a modern wedding cake from Sweet Lionheart. A two-tier vanilla sponge with a whipped lemon curd and raspberry Swiss meringue buttercream. We are post-wedding, about two days afterwards, heading on our road trip down south. And well, 
we still got the top tier of our cake left. It was a huge hit. Everyone finished off the bottom tier. We asked to keep the top tier, so we have it, and now we can enjoy it because we didn't have too much on the night. Too much, too much dancing. But now we have to drive very cautiously once again. Once again. Because we have precious cargo. It's like a caramels.